not sure what's going on here. This is that Heiger, uh, like a 2.2 inch Airstone I did a review on a couple months ago. The air, the air valve, was, here we'll turn it back to full blast. It is this one with the check valve on it. Going up to uh, second one, third one from the left. Second being used, one from the right. And there's no air coming out of it. So I don't know if the valve up top is not working or if uh, the air stone's not working. It puts out kind of a kind of a neat fine mist. Huh. Looks like air's coming out of the line all right. Well, I'm going to take it out of the water here, see if I can do this any better without breaking anything. In fact, what I'm going to do is uh, drop this back in and try not to knock a fish out and grab a pair of scissors. Let's see if that'll work. This was supposed to be a short. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'll just put it in here. So what do we see? Well, there's air coming out of the valve, all right. So the air stone's not working. How can that be? So that would kind of change my uh, perspective on my review. Huh. Not a clue. Not a clue. It's only been up and running, like I said, about a month. I'll get an exact date. So I just used this uh, utility knife to uh, kind of slice slice the side of the, the hose away to, to let me in. It's not clogged. The cut I made with the scissors was above that. It's right about there. So this is not clogged. But the air stone does not seem to be working on. Let me plug it back in. So I made a fresh cut on the end of the, the plastic hose. They get really stiff after a while. There are some that are better. I'm not sure if they're the vinyl ones or whatever. So I'm blowing through it. Yeah, these plastic hoses really are not the best. Let me see if I can find a better hose. All right, a different piece of hose. A little more flexible. Still nothing. So I'm not sure what the deal is there, but it's damn sexy looking. It's got their logo right there in the middle, big flat air stone. It came up kind of a mist all the way around. Um, but there is just no air coming out of the stone. And yet there's air coming out of the line. It's a good flow too. So, not impressed. Did not last. So, if any of you've got this airstone, this Heiger round stainless steel anodized, I think it was 2.2 inch. It was a smaller one. They've got a bigger one, and, and the outside rim is a little different. It's like it's kind of fluted. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. See if you're having any problems on them too. So in the meanwhile, I got one of these flat airstones. I don't even remember where I got them. They came with something I bought. And I'm just going to plug that in, and there it goes. I'm going to keep an extra air stone down in the corner here. 
Uh, I'll just sort of wrap it under the heater. The heater's off, so the tank is, right now it's 78 degrees because the garage door's open, and it's probably 106 outside, and I got an air conditioner running in here in the garage, one of those mini splits. So let's see, I can even turn this down a little bit because it was full blast. Flow better. So otherwise it's splashing all over the top, you know, and there's water all on the side of the tank and everything. That doesn't need to be. But it's a little extra air. And I've got the hang on back you saw me clean uh, in another video. And I've also got a, a big sponge filter in the corner here. So there's there's plenty going on. That sponge filter needs to be taken apart and cleaned. But that's going to be tough because there's all kinds of roots from philodendrons and pothos and probably the Sansevieria plant up here uh, growing in to it. There's the Sansevieria plant. Let's unhook you. So anyway, that was a sidebar from the whole Airstone review. This is the box for the Airstone. There's the Airstone. Let me turn it around so the logo's facing us. And it's one year my thumb, the HG126 Round M. It's, they're calling it stainless steel, and it looks like it's anodized. Looks like it's got a nice, I don't know, maybe some sort of powder coat or something on it like that. So I'm guessing uh, the way it's going, the uh, the housing, the rim, is going to outlast the Airstone itself. And as always, I, say, I should say, uh, because you guys are the best, and I really appreciate your your input, your comments, that's your input and your subscribes and your likes and shares and all that other stuff. And like I always say, thanks for watching.